What really happened to Frida Payne? Frida Payne was born Frida Charcelia Payne on September 19, 1942, in Detroit, Michigan, and grew up listening to jazz singers, such as Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday. As a teenager, she attended the Detroit Institute of Musical Arts. She soon began singing radio commercial jingles and took part in local TV and radio talent shows. In 1963, she moved to New York City and worked with many entertainers, including Quincy Jones, Pearl Bailey, and Bill Cosby. The next year, her debut album, a jazz recording with arranger Manny Albam entitled After the Lights Go Down Low and Much More was released on the Impulse label. In 1965 she toured Europe for the first time recording an album in Sweden with Don Gardner and Bengt Arn Wallin. In 1966 she released her second American album, again in the jazz style, How Do You Say I Don't Love You Anymore, for MGM Records. She also made occasional guest appearances on television shows including The Merv Griffin Show and The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. She added theatrical credits to her repertoire. She understudied Leslie Uggams for the Broadway show, Hallelujah Baby, in 1967, and appeared with the Equity Theater in a production of Lost in the Stars. In 1969, her old friends back home in Detroit, Brian Holland, Lamont Dozier, and Edward Holland Jr., persuaded her to sign with their newly formed record label Invictus. During that same year, her first Invictus single, Unhooked Generation, was released. Shortly thereafter, Eddie Holland offered her a song entitled Band of Gold, which he along with Brian Holland and Lamont Dozier co-wrote with Ronald Dunbar. In early 1970, the song became an instant pop smash reaching number three in the US and top one in the UK for six consecutive weeks, it also gave Payne her first gold record. Global sales were estimated at 2 million. An album of the same name proved to be fairly successful as well. Other Invictus singles included Deeper and Deeper, which reached US 24 and UK 33 at the end of 1970, You Brought the Joy, and the Vietnam War protest song Bring the Boys Home US Billboard Hot 100 Top 12, 1971, her second gold record. Her other Invictus albums were Contact, The Best of Frida Payne 1972, a compilation that included four new, unissued songs, and her last Invictus album Reaching Out. In 1973, she left Invictus and recorded albums for ABC, Dunhill and Capitol, but she never found the commercial success that she had enjoyed with Invictus. She recorded a duet I Wanna See You Soon with Capital Stablemates Taveras, which was a radio airplay hit in the UK in 1977. She released three disco albums for Capital from 1977 to 1979, Stairs and Whispers, Supernatural High, and Hot. The first one features the disco hit Love Magnet produced by Frank Wilson. In 1981, she briefly hosted her own talk show Today's Black Woman, and also found work acting in different movies, Broadway, and other theater productions throughout the 1980s. Although she was concentrating more on acting by that time, she never gave up music. In 1982, she recorded a single entitled In Motion for the Sutra label in New York, and in 1986, she recorded a remake of her old hit Band of Gold with Belinda Carlisle. In 1990, she recorded three songs for Ian Levine's UK Motor City label, another remake of Band of Gold, Memories and Souvenirs, and Only Minutes Away. In the mid-1990s, she released two albums for Dove Music, An Evening with Frida Payne, live in concert which featured her sister Sherry Payne on background vocals, and her first Christmas album Christmas with Frida and Friends, which featured a duet between Frida and Sherry. She also continued her acting career appearing in the films, Private Obsession, Ragdoll, Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps, and Fire and Ice. In early 2001, Payne released a new album entitled Come See About Me for the Volt Records label.
In early 2003, she performed in a show called Love and Pain, with Darlene Love at Feinstein's at the Regency in New York, and at the Cinegrill in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel in Los Angeles, getting excellent reviews. During the early 2000s, the following compilation albums of her music were released, Lost in Love, Band of Gold, The Best of Frida Payne, Unhooked Generation, The Complete Invictus Recordings, and The Best of Frida Payne, 10 Best Series. In late 2002, Payne appeared with many R&B stars on the Rhythm, Love, and Soul edition of the PBS series American Soundtrack. Her performance of Band of Gold was included on the accompanying live album that was released in 2004. On April 22, 2009, Payne appeared on American Idol and sang Band of Gold. In February 2010, Payne joined Kanye West, Jordan Sparks, Jennifer Hudson, Barbara Streisand and many more on We Are the World for Haiti Relief. In 2011 Payne recorded a duet, Saving a Life, with British pop star Sir Cliff Richard for inclusion on his Solicious album. She also joined Richard on his Solicious tour of the UK in October of the same year. She sang the new duet with Richard along with her own hit Band of Gold. On June 25, 2019, the New York Times magazine listed Frida Payne among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Payne was married to American singer Gregory Abbott from 1976 until 1979. Payne and Abbott had a son, Gregory Abbott Jr., who was born on September 19, 1977, Payne's 35th birthday. Payne later had a relationship with American musician Edmund Silvers from 1979 until January 1983. Silvers wrote and produced her 1982 single In Motion. In 1974, she made the cover of Jet magazine after she was made a Dame of Malta by the Knights of Malta. In 2017, Payne was inducted into the 2017 class of the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, in her hometown of Detroit.